When a surgeon does inguinal surgery, they know that the veins could go out the other way and that the surgery will fail. If you're having or if you're about to have inguinal surgery for varicocele, ask the surgeon if all the bad veins are in the inguinal canal. They're not necessarily and he knows that. If they use an ultrasound and just determine that you do have a reflux or backward flow in the veins, that's just saying that you have backward flow. It's not saying that all the bad veins are there. So if the surgery doesn't work, they can say, oh, I'm sorry, your surgery didn't work. It, it doesn't mean that you can't be cured. It means that the surgery failed. They're not telling you why the surgery failed, and they're not taking a venogram. If they take a venogram, it can show that the veins are in a different place. In video one, uh, we saw Olson and Stone diagram there showing that uh, the different roots in the black that uh, the veins can take, and then they can come back together. He's also talking about discomfort and disability uh, amongst thousands of workers worldwide. So why are, why are they doing this? Why wouldn't they take a picture and find all the bad veins before the surgery, before doing the surgery? Well, because it's a good job doing the surgery and because they don't get into as much trouble this way. In studies of varicocele surgery for pain, 80% uh, success rate, but 20% are uh, not successful, 10% are neutral, and uh, 10% in every study around the world, take 100 guys, 80 will uh, be cured initially, they don't study what happens after, if it comes back or not, 10% will have no change, and 10% will get worse. Well, they've never done a, a study on these men, and I hope that they would take a venogram on these men. I'm in that situation. It didn't correct my surgery. I still have a large scrotum on the left side. Uh, but I want to advocate for more study on these men. Uh, it is uh, does cause disability, and here's a paper that says clear identification of uh, of the veins that go a different way, um, m minimize persistence and recurrence of the varicocele. Here's just a diagram, and it illustrates that it's it can be hard to pull the testicle up. Uh, the other article uh, talks about traction of the spermatic cord, and I'm also saying that um, uh, pulling up uh, on the testicle is difficult because there's blood between the testicle and the inguinal canal. Uh, see part two for a table of contents. Uh, for more videos on this topic. But the important thing is that ultrasound is not con a conclusive test. If they're telling you that your surgery has failed, uh, oh, I'm sorry, uh, they're not checking their answers. They're not checking why the surgery failed. The surgery could have failed because they missed a vein. And the only way to know for sure is really to inject the veins with dye, like this venogram. And this is an example of uh, uh, a vein that goes across and over onto the other side. This guy has a uh, bilateral varicocele. He's got a big varicocele on the left side, a small varicocele on the right side. So ask your surgeon, are all the bad veins in the inguinal canal? That will start a controversy. He will get upset. Uh, he needs to check his answers before he cuts you open. Be careful. And support me so that I can get a venogram.